Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play your favorite game show. Name that symbiotic relationship! <laughs> Woo! That's right, to name that symbiotic relationship where you, the guest, have to determine what symbiotic relationship is present. So, let's not wait any longer and start the game! Looks like here we've got some larvae attached to a tomato hornworm here. Looks like the larvae are benefiting from this, and the, the hornworm, well, doesn't look like it's uh, enjoying much of its life right now. It's got a lot of things on it, and doesn't seem to be enjoying things very well. What type of symbiotic relationship is this? Number two. As we can see here, the pilot fish cleans the sharks while the shark is gathering food. Hmm, I wonder what type of symbiotic relationship this could be. Which ones benefit, which ones don't, or does one just simply not care? You get to decide. Pilot fish cleaning sharks while the shark gathers for food. Let's take a look here at number three, the sea scallop attached to a sponge to its cell, shell. This camouflages the scallop and does not affect the sponge in any way, shape, or form. Is this mutualism, commensalism, or parasitism? Or is it a predator-prey relationship? You tell me. Number four. Bees gather nectar from flowers. The bees then spread the flower's pollen to other flowers. Who benefits? Who doesn't? Do they both benefit? You tell me. Cattle egrets eat insects that are stirred up by large herbivores who walk through the tall grasses. We've got a zebra here stirring up some insects and the egret just eats them up. What type of symbiotic relationship could this possibly be? The emerald ash borer, the larvae feed on ash trees. What type of symbiotic relationship could this possibly be? Clownfish hiding in sea anemone for protection attracts food for the anemone. We got a Finding Nemo type relationship here. What relationship is this? Make sure you include all of these relationships on your homework assignment that has been assigned to you. Thank you, and have a good day.